everyone so today I'm going to share with you the makeup brushes that I use on a daily basis I have a whole lot of makeup brushes they're all from different brands so I don't particularly go for one brand over the other but I just wanted to share with you guys what are the makeup brushes that I like to use on a daily basis and also what brush cleaner I like to use so if you guys are interested on seeing what makeup brushes I use then just continue to watch all right so I have all the makeup brushes here in this Hello Kitty, Hello Kitty tin um, I particularly like to buy these tins like this from Target. Um, I do not know if this one was purchased from there because it was a gift. But so definitely you can buy these tins from Target every time there are holidays. There's always different ones like Easter ones, St. Patrick's Day, Christmas, etc, etc. So you can definitely pick up those there if you guys do not want to use uh, those expensive brush holders. And all, also another option for brush holders are definitely the Bath & Body Works candles. After you take the wax out, just clean it. You can add beads to it, make it glittery. There are videos all over on YouTube for that as well. So let's just hop into the video. So the first thing I want to talk about are my face brushes. For my foundation, tinted moisturizer and those kind of things like that, I like to use my beauty blender. Beauty blenders are so amazing. They're super soft. And when you wet them, this is actually still a little bit damp. They go from being this little size, like at least this size, to being this size. So they do get bigger and it does help you apply your face makeup really, really easily. It blends it in, it airbrushes it so it doesn't feel so heavy. And it takes just, a just about the perfect amount of product that absorbs inside the sponge to the point where it's not to the point where you have to keep on applying makeup. It gives you the perfect coverage and I like to use a pointed area to blend out my concealer. It really helps to get right underneath the eyes and everything. This is $20 at Sephora. There are also other ones that you can use like the Real Techniques ones. You can get that from Ulta. Sometimes they have them in a package of two for around like $10 to $13 or so. But you can find all different kinds of makeup sponges that are even cheaper than the Real Techniques and the Beauty Blender from all different companies but I just particularly like the beauty blender all right so the face brushes I'm gonna start out with after, after you apply your foundation you're gonna go ahead and apply powder so what I like to use is this elf powder brush and I like it because it's a flat top so it does help you pick up just a certain a little bit amount of powder and then what I like to do is just pat it and like pounce it into the face so that it soaks up the liquid foundation or wherever I'm using that day and it does help it stay put. I love this e.l.f. brushes because they're super inexpensive and they're really sturdy. Normally when you get cheap brushes they don't last for very long. I've had this probably for about a year or so and it's still staying strong and I wash my brushes at least once a week. Once a week so it definitely does get a lot of wash to it and it still stands up very well. The next thing that I like to do is apply my blush and there are two blush brushes that I like to use. Um, let me talk about the first one. This one is a high-end one and this is from Tarte. And what I love about this one is the way that it's uh, shaped. It's, normally blush brushes are shaped more fluffy. This one is more flat. So it does give you more of a natural kind of blush. It picks up just the perfect amount of color on it. It is super sturdy. I love the packaging and it's really, really, really soft. And this one I also have had for about three years or so. So it does last for a really long time. Um, if you want something that's super inexpensive, the new Wet n Wild brushes are amazing. They're around $4. The packaging is not the greatest, but it is still cute. I like how it's pink and it's white. Um, I have not, I did wash this brush before I used it and I did not get any shedding to it. So this one, as you can see, is more on the fluffy side. It's fatter and more rounded on the top than the Tarte one. And it does help you get, um, it does pick up a lot more blush color than the Tarte one does. So you have to be careful because you will get more blush than when, um, you just have to be, you have a really, really light hand to it. It does blend really beautifully. It feels super soft on the face. And as I can see, there are some hairs that are going to look like they want to come out. But that is okay and that is expected for brushes that are, you know, not so high-end. Not saying that the high-end brushes do not fall apart because they definitely do. But just for that one, you just have to be careful. The next thing that I like to do is apply contour. 
So to apply contour, I like to use the e.l.f. contour brush. This is around $6, and what I like about it is the way that it's shaped. It has like the perfect area right here where you can get right underneath your cheekbone and just chisel out your cheekbone. Also good for the size of your nose and underneath your lip if you like, underneath your jawbone, your forehead, those kind of key areas. So I like it to place the contour on. It's super compact. It's really smooth. $6 you can't compare. Um, I know that the NARS Eda brushes and those kind of brushes that have the semi kind of shape are, you know, pretty popular. But just give this one a try before you go spending your money on those $59 brushes that are just to contour. This is 6 bucks. It's really great. I have washed it. As I can see, it's only one hair is trying to peek out and come out, which is not so bad. But I am really enjoying this brush. And then what I like to use to blend out the contour, this is a crown brush. I do not know the number, but as you can see, this is the shape of it. This can also be used as a blush brush. I've seen people use it as that as well. So this is the brush right here. It's a slant. And what it does is it does help to, you can use it to bronze up the face. Or you can use it to contour if you like. But I like to use it to blend out the contour so that it's not so harsh. So you just blend it out. And I love this brush because it's super smooth. I've had it for about two years now, or maybe even longer, and I wash it all the time. I've never had any hairs come off from it. It blends perfectly, and it's amazing. And crown brushes are super inexpensive as well. So the next thing, after you're done applying your bronzer, blush, and contour, you want to go ahead and apply highlight. For highlight, what I use is an eye brush. This is from Soho. It's a big, fluffy brush. Um, I love this brush because it picks up the perfect amount of highlight and it fits right on top of my cheekbones like so, as you can see. And you can also use it to apply highlight underneath your brow bone and your inner corners. It's a super multi-purpose brush. You can also use it for actual eyes if you wanted to. But I like to use it for my highlights. And Soho brushes are also super inexpensive. And this one has not had any shedding at all. The next thing that I like to do is blend it all out. So this is an e.l.f. small stipple brush. As you can see, I have used it. This is my second one. The first one that I had, the ferrule actually broke off. So I just let it go. Um, these brushes are like two, three bucks. So it's not bad at all. And I've never had a problem with shedding. I love how it is super small. So it does help you blend everything out. Smooth out the edges a little more if you like. Now for the eyes, I use about let's see five brushes um of course you're gonna i always start with my um, brow bone so i'll go ahead and use either a blending brush or a little shader brush technically i'll use a shader brush to go ahead and do that um, then you're gonna start in the crease so i go ahead and use this is a mirabella eye blender but there are definitely a whole lot of different brands that have brushes that are just like this it's just a big old fluffy brush is what I like to use to get into the crease to apply a transition shade, which for me, I like to use Saddle from MAC. So I just take a little bit of that and use that, or I also like to use Naked 2 from the Naked Basics palette from Urban Decay. Just go ahead and blend that in a little bit. doesn't have to be perfect at all. Then I go ahead and move on to the actual eyelid. And I am obsessed with this brush right here. This is from e.l.f. I mean, this is from Wet n Wild, also from their new line. And it is an eyeshadow brush. It's actually a concealer brush, but I have been using it for eyeshadow. What I love about this brush is that it's super small and compact. So it does help you get super close to your eyes. Even, even like, especially for me, because I don't have that big of eyeballs. So I always like to find the perfect amount, the perfect brush that fits on my eyes where I can get like one swish of color instead of having to re reapply and reapply and reapply. So this one, what I like it for is cream eyeshadow. So what I have on it right now is actually not a wink pink from Jordana from their liquid eyeshadows that they have on there right now. Those applicators are too big. So I just swipe a little bit on the brush, apply it to my eye, and it is amazing. This one, I think it was around like $4 as well, which is not expensive at all for a brush. I have washed this one as well. It washed perfectly, no shedding at all. So definitely rep recommend that one. For the actual crease, if you want to add a little bit more color into the actual crease. I am obsessed with this brush. Uh, it is a Sigma Blending E25 brush. MAC has a 217, which is also um, pretty similar to this one. A lot of companies do. 
I love this brush. It has had some shedding in the past. I've had this for a couple of years now. I love this. Uh, it does help you disperse the perfect amount of color. And as you can see, look, it fits right into the crease perfectly. So I definitely would recommend this brush here. And then for the last two brushes, I have the MAC 224, which is also just your similar big fluffy brush. This brush is perfect to use to blend out all the edges, just like any other blending brush would be. And then for the last thing on your eyes, you want to add some eyeliner. So if you're going to use a gel liner, I recommend the Eyeliner Sigma E05 brush. It's pink, so that's super cute. And it's super tiny and little. Um, it does help you get that wing and... This works amazing with gel liners that are super creamy because it really helps you like take it and like blend it. And I also like to use this brush to take some shimmer, shimmer eyeshadow. So apply it to the inner corners. And this brush is also good to take some gel liner, put it into your waterline, into your tight line. Take some eyeshadow, blend it underneath your lower lash line. So you can find makeup brushes, even if they're not for their eyes, you can use them for other things. Just use them however you like. And the last thing I want to mention is the brush cleaner that I have been obsessed with. This is from, I believe it's called DJ, um, Dr. Bronner's. It's called Dr. Bronner's. And as you can see, it's right here. It's in the lavender one. It smells super, 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 super strong, but it does help you clean your brushes like perfectly. I use the Beauty Blender. I have a picture on my Instagram and you guys can check that out. Um, I'll leave my username right here so you guys can see that it makes the beauty blender go from being super Brown and disgusting to being pink like it's normal color. So I recommend this. They also have it in liquid form It's super inexpensive and I am obsessed with it So all those are all the makeup brushes that I like to use on a daily basis Let me know what if you guys have tried any of these brushes Let me know if you guys have tried the new wet and wild brushes I need to get the rest of them because I am obsessed with them now I have two. I don't remember how many there are, but I definitely want to get backups of the two that I have because I don't know how long they're going to last. So let me know if you guys know if they're limited edition or that kind of thing. But I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. I upload videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So be sure to hit that little subscribe button. And also you'll see a little bell go ahead and click the bell so that you can be notified in your email when I do upload new videos be sure to follow me on my social media I'll have them linked down below and I'll see you guys next time